Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. So why did I become a naturopathic doctor in the first place? Here's the story. Well, it all started when I was a little boy and I wanted to be a doctor and naturopath my entire life. Not really. Actually, when I was growing up, no one ever heard of an ND or naturopathic doctor or any even natural health period. I've mentioned before, I got into health in like my late teens. I had no connection, no idea about a connection between like eating anything and, you know, health. That had nothing to do with each other. And quite frankly, let's, let's be honest, most of your doctors out there, they, they still don't believe eating has anything to do with your health. It just doesn't matter. You saw the, the guy that got up and stormed out of the interview. He, he asked him a couple too many times. What about this vegan diet and diabetes and that? If that's where you want to go, buddy. I think we're done here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into an argument. Any diet works if people follow it. Hello. I can't tell you what a proper diet is. Who do we talk to about diet? You can talk to anybody you want. So you got them stormed out. You know, I have always, always, always really wanted to be healthy and as healthy as I possibly could. So when I found out about all these things through the years ionized water, spiruline and chlorella, finally raw fruits and vegetables, all these herbal extracts. It was, it was really easy for me to, to incorporate them into my diet and, and start using them. I'm not saying it was easy to become a raw foodist or any of these things. And lifestyle changes are always usually pretty dramatic and difficult. But it, I really wanted to do this and this is, this is where I am now all these years later. But I started out years ago and I decided I want to have some kind of credentials behind my name. So I thought, what is the easiest thing to do? I'll become a what? Certified nutritional consultant. Because people would come in and they say, have you studied anywhere? And I had already written a couple books on health and stuff. And I'm like going, well, no, I never studied. So I decided, you know what, maybe I ought to get a credential under my belt. So I became a certified nutritional consultant. Okay, that wasn't bad. I did that. Then I got more interested in it, and I saw somebody one time with MH behind their name. It was a health guy. I said, what does that stand for? He says, Master Herbalist. And so I said, wow, that's pretty interesting. I'd like to know a lot about herbs. So I studied to become a Master Herbalist, and I'm a certified Master Herbalist. Okay. Then, you know, I was watching on YouTube one day, and I'm looking around at videos and stuff, and this guy says, well, this is Dr. So-and-so, and I can't remember who it was. And he's a naturopathic doctor. And I said, wow, that's pretty cool. Maybe I'd like to become a doctor and get that behind my name. Well, anyway, so here we are now. It's about five years later. I haven't even started my, my naturopathic doctor studies. So I decided, okay, I'll undertake it. It was about another three and a half years. So, I mean, all told, it was almost eight years, about seven and a half, almost eight years of study between when I first started nutritional consultant all the way up to naturopathic doctor. But that's why I did it. And, and it was great. It was just amazing to get all the insights. Yeah, I read tons and tons of books. I mean, they really force you to read like, you know, 100 books if you want to get all these different certifications. And it exposed me to all sorts of different health modalities and, and ways, of, ways of thinking about health that I had never heard of. And, and it was great. Sometimes I studied people that I really, really admired like um, Dr. Bernard Jensen, for example. He's one of my favorite guys of all time. The other guys, um, you know, I won't mention names, but I didn't like their books at all. Pay attention to me! Pay attention to me! Pay attention to me! Pay but anyway, I read it because I had to, and I got all that stuff under my belt. So that's why I became a naturopathic doctor. I wanted originally just some credentials, and then I got really interested in it, and I decided, you know what? I really take this seriously. I want to be a naturopathic doctor. And people can call me Dr. Bob, and that would be great. Well, that's what finally happened. I got, I'm, I'm happened to be on my mother's birthday. She was not living at the time, but it was October uh, 11th, uh, 2011. That's when I became a naturopathic doctor. I just a coincidence on the date for 2011. Well, gosh, it's 2017, so this is almost six years ago. But I tell you this all the time. I tell everybody about this, and it's the same thing. 80% of what I know about health, all the studying I've done, 80%, most of what I know about health is from what I've experienced directly. Okay? I, I walk the walk. I wrote the book, Miraculous Poppies Ionized Water. 
because I experienced alkaline ionized water and I said this is the most terrific thing I've ever experienced in my life as far as a health product and putting something healthy into my body. I've got to, I've got to get into this and I've got to tell the world about it. And that's the way I've always been. So I approach it like that. And like I said, folks, it's just been fantastic because I can't tell you how many people have said, you've made my life healthier through the years. I've heard that so many times. And that's what it's all about for me. So there you go. It's all about health. It's not about anything else. Dr. Bob McCauley, guys, that's the backstory why I became a doctor. See you next time. So now you know a little bit more about me, why I love doing this so much, and I really do love this. I got to tell you, I'm, you know, I'm having more fun than people should be really allowed to have and still be working. And anyway, share, watch some of the other videos. Catch you guys next time.